So now it's time to tear down uh, and do some cleanup here. Uh, all the resources we're using here pretty much don't cost any money or shut themselves down. So there's we're not going to be in trouble if we don't do this. But, uh, you know, we should just learn how to delete things here. So first, I'm going to go to DynamoDB. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that table. Okay. And I don't want to create a backup. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then we'll make our way over to SNS. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and uh, delete that topic. So there it is. And we will just uh, delete it. Okay. And we will put in delete me. And uh, then we will make our way over to a uh, Lambda. All right. And we are going to go ahead and uh, delete that Lambda function. And then we are going to uh, make our way over to IAM. And uh, IAM roles aren't that big of a deal, but you might not want to keep them around. So we will just go in here and type in Ferengi here. Okay, and we will delete that role. Um, and then we were running an EC2 or an EC2 instance via Cloud9. So I'm just going to uh, close that there, this tab here. And I'm going to just type in um, in here Cloud9. Okay. And we are going to uh, terminate that instance there. You can see I have a few others that did not terminate, but we'll go ahead and delete that there. And we will just uh, type delete. Okay, and that's going to uh, delete on its own. Uh, you will want to double check that there, but I want to get uh, through this all with you here. So we're not going to watch that. Um, and then we want to delete our API uh, gateway here. Ooh, how do we delete this? Um, we'll go up to the top here. I rarely ever delete APIs, so we'll go here. Uh, enter the name of the API before committing. <laughs> Couldn't just be delete, right? Sometimes it's delete me, sometimes it's et cetera, et cetera. They give you all these different ways of deleting. We'll hit delete API. So now that is uh, deleted there. Um, we need to delete um, our CloudFront. Okay. So we'll go here. And uh, we have uh, two distributions here. So in order to delete them, you have to first disable them. And this takes forever to do. Okay, so once they're disabled, they'll be off. And then you can just delete them. I'm not going to stick around to show you how to delete them. As long as they're disabled, that is going to be good enough. But you should uh, uh, take the extra time and delete them 20, 30 minutes when these decide to finish. Okay, and uh, we want to uh, delete our ACM if we can. Okay, so we'll make our way over there. So I'm going to hit uh, delete and it won't let me until those are deleted. So <laughs> we'll wait till those are fully deleted. Then you just go ahead here and delete that. I'm not going to come back and show you that. It's just not uh, not worth the time here. Some of these things just take uh, too, too long for me. Okay, and then we'll go into Frangie Alliance. We will go ahead and remove uh, these records here. Okay. You don't want to keep records uh, around that are pointing to nothing. So if those CloudFront distributions are there, there is a uh, way people can compromise and have those resources point uh, to somewhere else. So you don't want to keep those around. Then we're going to go to S3. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and delete our buckets. Generally, you have to empty them before you can delete them. So I'm going to go here. I don't know if AWS has made this a little bit easier uh, now, but generally uh, you'd always have to empty them before you can delete. So I'll hit uh, delete there. And we will try this one as well. Okay. Whoops, www dot. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. You don't have to hit uh, empty anymore. So yeah, I think we have everything with the exception of uh, uh, CloudFront there and the ACM. Again, uh, once they're disabled, you delete them and then you delete your ACM. Uh, so yeah, we have fully uh, cleaned up here and hopefully you really enjoyed th this section.